It's Mr. Truck. Mr. Truck here at Vegas 2013. I'm here at the XP3 booth talking to Mark Springer. This is the guy, A&E Shipping Wars. So, you know, he's everybody's favorite on that show. So he's here to talk about his experience with XP3. Mark, how's it going? It's going great. <laughs> First of all, it's a real pleasure oh. to meet you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I I'm, appreciate uh, that. I'm enjoying getting a chance to, to talk with you, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing some of your stories. But, but first, I'd like to tell you about my experience with XP3 and kind of how I got involved in it. Yeah. Um, I met some folks that, uh, that I trust you know they're they're Canadians and uh, <clears throat> when I'm up there truck and I I talk to them about different things that are going on up there and uh, they, they mentioned this this fuel additive to me uh -huh. asked me if I if I purchase a fuel additive I said well yeah of course I do you know if you don't yeah. what do you, you're missing out on something here and they said well what do you use and I told them and they said well have you ever heard of this and I go no and so they explained to me some of the benefits of it and asked me if I'd be you know, interested in uh, maybe supporting it. And I said, well, not unless I'm using it. Yeah. I gotta know a little more about it. So they offered up to give me some and, and uh, I went ahead and put this into my fuel tanks and started running down the highway between Winnipeg and uh, Fargo, basically. And I'm driving along and I'm realizing that uh, the sounds that I typically hear, because I'm in this, you know, I'm sitting on my engine every day, I hear it, I, I know it. Yeah. All of a sudden, I, I realize that, uh, you know, I look at my, my gauges and my, my speedometer says 80 miles an hour. Well, I don't drive 80 miles an hour. I drive, you know, 70 or 75 yeah. where it's legal. Right. But my truck sound and the RPM range was typically where I would be at 70. And I'm, you know, I'm kind of going, how, why am I going so much faster? Why is my vehicle working so much less right. to at attain the same speed and the same performance? So I called them up and asked them about it. I, I, I was skeptical, you know. Yeah. They said that's a possibility. Typically, it would take maybe a few bottles through your system to, you know, clean out the engine and get rid of some of the impurities and things. But it's possible that it could have happened that fast. So at that point, I kind of went, wow, this is interesting, and uh, I continued to use it. And I've noticed some some uh, some fuel savings, which I was pretty excited about. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that, you know, somewhere between a quarter to a half a mile to a gallon. And I, and I you know, I don't have exact numbers on that, right. but, but it was better. Yeah. You know, it's just, I know I was getting better mileage because I track all my mileage. But um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Well, that's great. You know, the bigger trucks... Getting five percent is like a monumental. I mean, maybe oh, man. half a mile a gallon, a mile a gallon. I know yeah. it's big. Yeah. Even that way with one-ton pickups, you know. Sure. The Detroit fights over one mile to the gallon. Oh man. Yeah, I got some people in Canada I trust too, and I know there's some rough roads up there. I got some people in the logging country that oh, I work yeah. with, and you know, you got a lot more condensation, a lot more ice in the tanks, and all that. I've got yep. problems in Colorado mm -hmm. in the winter time. It's bad. And I'm going to continue to use it. Experience with XP3 was impressive enough for me to say okay i'm going to support this well that's good I mean, yeah gives you more horsepower gives you more miles to the gallon exactly i mean with the amount of miles that i drive in a month yeah that adds up to a, i mean I'm, oh, yeah. I'm putting 700 dollars every two days through my fuel tanks yeah a lot of people don't realize that on the big rigs what it costs for tires and fuel yeah. i mean it's unbelievable the tires you get wrapped up five cents a mile <laughs> yeah. five cents a mile think yeah. about okay let's say you're in your you're in your pickup and every mile at the end of each day Times that by five and put it in a jar. Yeah, yeah. Show me what you got at the end of the yeah. year. Yeah, you know, we're 10 grand in a set of tires. That's a lot it, of money. Man, man that's oh right. man. I'm running a, an, an engine that's a little different than some of the newer trucks at this point. It's, it's you know, it's getting to where I'm going to be changing it soon. Yeah. But I take really good care of it for that reason. Yeah. It puts out a lot of power. It is a fuel efficient engine to begin with. And, uh, you know, I want to like keep this thing as long as I can and take sure. as, as good a care of it as I can. This, I'm hoping, is going to do that for me. Well, that's good. And that's what you see, too, with truckers is they, you know, that's their livelihood. Those trucks, they get babied a lot. They get you you know, taken care of the right way and maintained the right way. You bet. That's the only way you can survive in this business. Well, thanks, Mark. We'll see you on TV. I'll look forward to seeing you. <laughs> thanks. You bet, huh? We are at the 2013 SEMA. And I'm talking to Mike Schlegel of XP3. 
It's a fuel additive. You know, we've heard a lot about fuel additives over the years. Back in the recession, everybody in the world was calling me, telling me they had some magic formula to get you 10% better fuel. Back when fuel spiked, you know, in eight in 2008. And so everybody's gotten in the business. This one actually has been around since 89. So it's been a secret, and we're going to tell you about it now. Uh, so many things that this does, and they got diesel and gas, and it's uh, it's about improving everything, about improving you know fuel mileage. What do you think your customers? What you what have you heard from your customers? Mileage is a side benefit. Really, the product is the only multifunctional fuel enhancer in the world. So mileage is really the the best part about it. Is it pays you to use our product, but we really solve a lot of issues. Right, I understand. And, on the bottom side, the lowest we ever see is four and a half percent. Okay. And then the longer people use it, the more that percentage seems to increase. Okay. Once well, that's, it that's cleans good. up that engine. Yeah. And that, you know, that's for semis, that's for cars, that's for farm tractors, everything that improves all that. Exactly. And another problem I have going around the country to these uh, horse shows is uh, in the middle of winter, I could be in Florida, I could be in California, Texas, and go back to Wyoming, and you never know what's going to be in the fuel. I mean, it's, you know, sometimes they mix the right amount of number one with a number two, and sometimes they don't. And this will pr solve that problem with the gelling. Since you know, the ultra low sulfur is not many paraffin wax or sulfur in it. So does this really help with the gelling issues it's too? It's going to give you an extra 25 degrees of protection against gelling into whatever fuel you put it into. Okay. So you could run a straight number two. We're seeing down to 20 below, no issue. Well, that's great. That's that, that's a big benefit. Mm -hmm. So you can you know not worry about which state you're fueling up the truck in. Now, two, you know, another big problem right now that we're all talking about is diesel exhaust fluid through your DPF filter, your diesel particulate filter, and these new modern diesels, whether it's a tractor or a semi or a pickup truck or your Beamer SUV, that's that's been a problem. And those things, they plug up and you have to regenerate them. And sometimes you regenerate them going up a hill, you regenerate them at the wrong time. Now this will this will actually, because what I've seen with your demonstrations, it takes a lot of the, uh, the soot out, the unburned up fuel, and it you know, cleans up the injectors and all that. So actually you don't regenerate as often. That's correct. What happens, we get a 40 to 60 percent reduction in emissions pre-DPF filter. So your EGR valve is going to last longer, your DPF filters do not need to be cleaned as frequently running our product. Well, that's great. So your DPF doesn't plug up. And a lot of vehicles, the EGR cooler is what plugs up first. Right, first. I've replaced many of those, so I know how exactly. that is. So it does all those things and actually it gives you a little more horsepower and torque. Well, what it does, it, it, it cleans up the engine, so you get clean injectors, you get better atomization, better atomization, you get more complete combustion instantaneously in the combustion cycle when you want it, so you don't have fuel burning through the whole combustion stroke and still burning while it's going out through the exhaust, which is unburned fuel and extra emission. So we're going right. to get instantaneous burn, combustion, so you get more power, less fuel. So you'd even have less smoke if you had Absolutely. one of those trucks that yeah. smoke, yeah. which I think is good because you know a smoking diesel they're fun to go out there and let them happen, right. but it, it gives uh, you know diesel engines a bad vibe to the public. They think we're all a bunch of polluters, and we're not. We've got a lot of very clean diesels, which I like. Water and the fuel. Uh, in Colorado, and your tank tub to tank always condenses with water. It's dripping in there constantly, right. so that's a constant problem. And I know a lot of the diesel manufacturers are keeping bigger and bigger you know water filters and you need to drain them quite often to get the water out. And your product helps get the water out. Our product actually takes the water and makes it become part of the fuel, it makes it one homogenous solution, and it helps you burn the water. But more importantly, we don't just take the water out. The key is to put lubrication in with that to overcompensate for what the water reaction does with metal. So water will create more wear on the engine. So it's not just taking the water and putting it into the fuel, it's putting extra lubrication there and by doing so, we're reducing engine wear over 50%. If you do use oil analysis, you'll find over 50% reduction of heavy metals in used oil. So we're wow. going to increase the life of the engine. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah. It's, so they're actually burning water, which you know, that's what else can you do? You get it out of there. You can't help. You know, have a better solution than that. Uh, we're going to do some demonstrations next, I think, and to show just what it does. And yours versus some other products. We have a product here that XP3, um, basically, I always ask questions on guys that are running diesel or gas because we have both sets. Basically, I always ask questions like, well, are they running any additives now? Yes or no. Some aren't, some aren't, which is great. And I say, you know what, if some are, I said, it's great. I show them what we got. All I'm doing is comparing apples to apples here. It's all I'm doing. I'm not saying nothing's bad. I'm just saying I'm just comparing apples to apples. That's all I'm doing. So I got product A here, which I'm going to do a quick burn test for you guys and show you how it actually cleans and burns and everything. So I'll do product A here. So I'll do that. 
And then of course I'm going to take product B here and do the same thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting in here, I'm doing everything equal to equal so someone can't say I didn't do anything different. Okay. So here's our product XP3. There's a lot of things this does, 10 to 12 things. I'm, not, I'm gonna hit a lot of them while I'm doing the demo, so I'll show you what we do here. So I'm gonna pour some XP3 into Torpedo 2. So, what I always tell people, you know, we're, we're gonna do a burn test. We, one of the benefits our product does is we burn cleaner, so and we pollute 60% less. So this is product A, basically. So you can yeah, you can see the pollution coming off. That's no good, you know. So correct. So basically, here's product B. Does the same thing. So I always tell people, you know, that's hundred-dollar bills going out the exhaust. Okay. So here's our product XP3 now. See how clean that burns? Yeah. They all clean that burns, okay? So I always tell people, owner, operators, or customers, whatever, what's more efficient? A dirty motor or a clean motor? So people always say a clean motor, okay? So what we'll do next is we got hot, cold, hot, cold sweat. All right, one of our, our benefits of our product too is an anti-gel, anti-algae. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take some water. I got water right here. And what I'm going to do equal to equal, I'm going to put two mil of water in product A. You can see already what happens. Correct. Correct. Okay. So that's on product A. Of course, I'm going to do product B now. So here's product B, basically. Uh, water went right through. Yep. Now here's XP3. Here's the start of the show. I always tell people this is what it does. It's just amazing what it does. So I'm going to put some water in there. And you see it mixing right with the water. Yep. So basically, you can see how it actually goes down. It's actually working. It keeps working. You can just see it. It's just amazing how it's working here, okay? So, so it mixes with that water, then it can burn the water. Correct. It turns into one, one solution. So it turns into burnable. We turn water into burnable fuel, basically. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm from Minnesota, because we get cold up there, and we got potholes and speed bumps, I'm just going to give it a quick tip. on each product, so I do everything equal to equal, so everything mixes in, basically. And I'll take the XP3 and I'll do the same thing. Okay. So, what I'll do next now is, when you let your vehicle sit overnight, you know, everybody lets your vehicle sit, where's the water go? goes to the bottom of the tank, which I think everybody would agree with me, we got whole co hot, cold, hot, cold sweat, okay? So every time we fire up in the morning on a semi or a car or whatever, you'll see here, see the sizzle? That's, a, that's an injector trying to burn the water and stuff like that. That's not good and that won't even light, okay? So we lube the top end of the motor 25%. So that's why we extend the life of the motor. You can see. Yeah, you can see the spark. Yeah, 4th of July. Okay? Water, a little bit of water mixed with the fuel, and we get it out of the water. Correct. So now here's XP3. Here's the start of the show again. You don't see any 4th of July, do you? No, there's no sparks or nothing there. And that's lit. Wow, so it's burning. It's totally got the water wrapped in the molecules and it's just burning. Sure. Well, I'm going to go one step farther now. I don't know if anybody's heard, but color cut. Color cut is a water finding paste. Okay. If it finds water, it'll turn red. 
If it doesn't find water, it'll stay gold all day long. So what color did that turn? Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't that something? Correct. So remember, if it finds water, it'll turn red. If it doesn't find water, it'll stay gold all day. Okay. Now we go back to the XP3. Like I said, XP3 is amazing. It's the start of the show. And I'll stay gold all day long. Yep. One thing about our product, about the XP3, I guess there's another thing it does. It stabilizes the fuel every six months. All you gotta move the fuel every six months. So it's a stabilizer. Wow. It's an anti-gel, anti-algae, it disperses the water, it cleans the motor, top of the motor, extends the life motor 25%. I'm not going to hit them all, but I hit a lot of them. What's everybody's concern? Everybody has a different reason why they're running an additive or not running an additive. So it does a lot of things. It gives you more power. Everybody loves power, you know. So. It works similar to even what power chip does. Correct. You get more horsepower, more torque. Correct. You know, tubeless spool, you get a higher spool. Yep. Yep. It's made by it. Help your legs. That's good. The extra power. Yep. Kind of all. So what we have here is I'm going to do a quick demo on this real quick. We got straight number two diesel because a lot of guys ain't running that. Says which is great, you know. So I got straight number two here. So I always tell people we should be running an additive now because they took the sulfur out of the diesel. Everybody wants the lubrication. Ours lubes the top end of the motor. Lubrication is huge for owner operators or anybody running a diesel and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a quick burn test on straight number two diesel now. That's all I got is a straight number two diesel. You can see the soot burning. Yeah, soot. Yep. I always tell people that's $100 bills going up. So would you want to put the $100 bills back into your pocket or do you want to keep burning them up? So here's number two diesel in XP3 now. That's number two diesel with the XP3? Correct. So I always tell people, again, let's go back to this phase. What's more efficient, a dirty motor, clean motor? All day. So, so what I'll do next for you, I'll do a, just a demo on, real quick, I'm going to do a demo on the XP3 diesel and water. So everybody can see what it actually, actually does, because like I said, it's just do it live. So, because we got moisture, hot, cold, one from Minnesota, so people, you know, they love us in the wintertime because of the gelling. So I'm going to do another demo real quick. I got straight number two diesel in here. So I'll do a quick burn test again, just to show everybody. It's straight number two diesel. You can see the black soot coming up. Yes. Okay. So that's straight number two diesel. Of course, I'm going to put some water in it now because we got hot, cold, hot, cold sweat. So basically I put water in there in the diesel, so you can already see there is, is at the bottom of the straight number two diesel. Correct. So basically what I'll do is I'll do this again, do another burn test because basically you let your vehicle sit. Isn't that something? Fourth of July, I think. Isn't that Fourth of July? So basically what I'm going to do is put some XP3 in there now. Okay. You can see how it actually is working. Another burn test for you. You can see how it actually it's working. It's just like little molecules. We got some. We're not 100%, but we got some. So, and that's what we got.
that's all. So basically what I got over here too is we got diesel. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is the diesel side of the deal. We got our gas product too. We got product A and we got product B. Basically we got gas and diesel. So I always tell people gas stays with gas because people run gas too. We just don't have diesel. We're helping on both sides. Right, and that's what right. we're doing. Is we're helping people put the savings back into their pocket and have a cleaner running motor, extend the life of the motor 25%. So we're out here to help people and show them what we got going on. Yeah. Product B with water. There's XP3 in water. And then we got product A again with water. So, yeah. That's without XP3. That's without XP3. That's straight number two. Here's XP3 and number two diesel. So, 